Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 4 Lesson 6 homework. So let's get started. Number one, use a protractor to measure the angles and then record the measurements in degrees. All right, so here I have my protractor. You guys can get out yours too. So let's start measuring. A, this is our first angle. And if the angle is like too short, you can take a ruler, here I have this cartoon ruler, and you can um, trace the angle and kind of extend one of the angle's legs so it's easier to tell. So I'm going to extend that one and I'm gonna extend this one a bit too. So now we take our protractor. So you guys see that center dot right here, the dot in the middle? You have to make sure you can't measure the angle like this or that, because then the angle measure would turn out wrong. You have to make sure the center dot goes to the very like corner end of the angle, like that. So now make sure the line over here that says zero, that's zero, matches up with the line here. So now we have our thing. You can see that it's about 70 um, degrees. It's about 70 degrees. But let's see, 70, 60, we have 65. 66, 67, 68. Can I extend that a bit more? It's like around 65. 68. So we'll just say it's about 68 degrees. And this makes sense because this angle is an acute, so it should be less than 90 degrees. All right, now B. Let's see. Which side do we want to measure? All right, so let's extend the leg of, of the angle a bit to make it easier. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna do from this side. Make sure the little circle matches up with the edge, and the line matches up with the other line. Okay, so match it up real nice. Look at that. You see how it points right at eighty. That means this angle is exactly 80 degrees. Now let's look at C. Okay, let's do it this way. I'm just gonna extend this angle a little bit. Extend the leg. Okay, so the little circle at the end. Make sure everything's matched up. Okay, this one goes Okay. Let's extend it a little more. Okay, this one goes right at 30. Okay, we have 30, 31, 32. So it's around 32 degrees, this angle. And now for D, let's, just, let's extend the angle's leg. Alright, make sure the little circle matches up, match up the legs. Goes exactly at 60, so this angle is 60 degrees. Alright, next page. Alright, E. Oh, let's see, this angle. I can kind of turn the paper a bit to make this easier. Let's, let's turn the paper. All right, so. Well, actually, let's kind of take this easier. Like, 
I don't know why, maybe. Alright, so let's extend. Measure from the side. Extend the leg. Okay. So make sure everything matches up. We're just kind of turning our paper here. And this, see how it hits 70 over there? But it won't be 70 because this is an obtuse angle. So it should be more than nine degrees. So what we do, we look at this side. That's one. Okay, hold on. That is about, let's see, make sure it's, I think that's 105 degrees. So I'd say that one's pretty close to 105. So we say this angle is 105 degrees. Now, F, let's extend this angle. So, we make sure everything's matched up. And this angle, a little bit bumpy. It's right, like, where's the camera? It's at around... 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. But, wait, hold on. This is not a 20, this is a 2, so. It's actually hitting around, I don't really match that. It's actually around 150, pretty much. So I'll just say this one is 150 degrees. And for G, Let's see, can I do it this way. Extend it a little bit. So make sure the circle matches up, line everything up. This one is two, so it should be more than nine degrees. This is 130, 131, two, three, 133 degrees. All right, now for H. Let's see. Make sure everything lines up. So now, over here, this is a Q. So it would be about 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I say 66 degrees. Right now, and then I... Okay, let's extend it a little bit. Okay, so sure everything matches up. This is a cute. So this would be right at 45 degrees. And now for J, let's see. Actually, let's turn the page again. Alright, because I think it's easier to measure it. Like this. Okay, so let's extend the leg of the angle. And match everything up. This should be 120 degrees. We'll flip it back around. Alright, 120 degrees. All right, so now we're done with number one. Number two says, using the green and red circle cutouts from today's lesson, explain to someone at home how the cutouts can be used to show that the angle measures are the same even though the circles are different sizes. Right, where's to explain what you told him or her? All right, so probably one of this is green and one is red. And what it's asking is, even though they're bigger, is the angle would the measure still be the same? Well, yeah, the measure will still be the same because look at the lines, the lines match up. It's like the diameter kind of will match up, but also let's pretend you make a right angle, that's nine degrees, but the small one can also make a right angle, which is also nine degrees. And 90 degrees is equal nine degrees, so the measures are the same 
even though the circles are different sizes. So you can say their diameters match up and let's see you can say if you make a right angle um with both cutouts the angle measure would be the same which will be nine degrees for a right angle all right and now number three use a protractor to measure each angle extend the length of the segments as needed when you extend the segments does the angle measure stay the same all right so let's measure show the dot lines up okay so this one okay so it goes past 170 so i'd say it's about let's extend it a bit like i said yeah, it says extend it extend it can we extend it So this is, this is our round, it's not really perfect, but I say it's closer to 173 maybe, 173, 172 degrees. And um, before we didn't extend it, the measure would stay the same because the arc stays the same. So the angle is still staying the same, but the legs at the angle are extending. So the measure stays the same since the arc doesn't change and only the legs extend all right now b this is 180 degrees because a straight line is 180 degrees you match it up it's 180 degrees so and you can write the same for that one too stay the same because the arc doesn't change and the legs are extending mm. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!